Hi everybody, it's Aaron here from TC Helicon, and today we're looking at incorporating a Go Guitar Pro into your digital audio workstation. Uh, got our Go Guitar Pro, got our USB cable, got our Mac, and we're gonna plug this guy in. So today we're gonna use GarageBand because it's widely available. So I'm gonna create a new project, empty project. All right, and it, we've got a choice between recording a microphone or recording a guitar. I'm gonna choose connecting a guitar or bass because uh, it's gonna give me some presets right off the bat. The next thing I'm gonna do is make sure that the Go Guitar Pro is selected as an input and an output device. And you can do that by clicking on this little arrow beside, it brings up your preferences. You can also get to this preferences menu from GarageBand preferences and then audio MIDI right there. See that Go Guitar Pro is automatically selected. If it's not, you just make sure it is. Close out of there, create your project. You're gonna have one track enabled by default, but you're not gonna hear anything yet. And the reason you're not gonna hear anything is because input monitoring is not enabled. And that is the key. So I can see signal coming in, that's great. But I'm gonna click this little icon here. As I mouse over it, it says input monitoring. Enabled input monitoring, so now I'm gonna be able to hear it. So that's perfect, it's coming through for me and I'm gonna record this so you guys can hear this too. Awesome. So I'm getting it um, in my headphones and I can adjust that on the Go Guitar Pro or I can adjust the volume slider up here to adjust volume. Um, everything's working great and that's it. So if you have any questions about recording to any other DAW like Logic or Pro Tools or a DAW on a PC, uh, just reach out to us on our community at musictribe.com. We'd be happy to talk to you. Take care.